He is buried away in France, and his grave we may never see. Will some kind friend in that distant land plant a flower on his grave for me? We still seem to see his smiling face through a mist of anxious tears, but a mother's heart is a broken heart and a burden of weary years. What motivated me to take on this project was actually the, the soldier Cyril Henry Martin. He was a local lad, he was a matching boy, he, was, he went to school there, he was in a matching football club uh, with his mates. The 53rd Battalion went to Fromel and they were in that, the most blackest war conflict. Cyril um, went from, from L over the top and uh, his brother was wounded, Harold George, and my, the story from family now, after I've written my historic research on him, was that Cyril went out to the field to sit alongside his brother who was wounded in the hip and uh, it was Cyril who ended up getting uh, a gunshot to the back and the shoulder. He died about 12 days later and is buried over in France. Cyril's mum had written in the local Gosford Times and there is an in, in memoriam uh, quote put in there and it was about uh, somebody in France, would somebody please plant uh, flowers for my son because it, it's probably somewhere where I'd never, I'd never be able to get to. I would just hope some dear person would plant a flower for him. So I thought, well, we'll, we'll plant it here but we'll remember everyone. Lots of people have asked about the, how many poppies there are. Um, 30,000 got distributed. We also had, right at the end, people are still wanting them. We, we sent out another 10,000 ready. Uh, so lots of them have gone out and people staking them. So that's uh, 40,000. There would be, um, you've got to think about the pottery ones that were made, the enamel ones that made, the crocheted ones and stuff that some people staked, the ones on the mesh. It's just incredible to think how many are on there. And the lovely Rebecca Cardi, who is a Heritage Projects Coordinator in Gosford City Council. She knew my vision, she knew what I really wanted. She'd seen my artist impression and she got there early and we staked it out and um, what's really magic about the place too is if anyone goes of a night you'll see the carpet of stars underneath from the solar lights we also were able to get from Bunnings and also several hundreds of them came from Deborah O'Neill. We had office works, uh, spotlight, donate um, materials for it as well as did lots of other businesses when I asked them could we feed our volunteers that installed the poppies? So that it's just been a community inspiring event to help everybody. Poppy Project Never Forgetting the Sacrifices was what I started out with, never forgetting their sacrifices and I can I am just so proud that the Central Coast has backed this and we can say with all honesty that we have not forgotten the sacrifices and we've united to commemorate this very special Anzac centenary. This morning when I went down when the weather has cleared and for people to actually see those poppies still standing was, it's really significant and says a lot about the Anzac spirit a man walking down the steps said these poppies still standing when there's devastation all around us just shows what that spirit's all about and and it really was for me to get the community spirit going to actually honour 
the Anzacs.